All right, good morning, painting class. Uh, this is 1116, and we are covering uh, the new unit, which will be on cubism uh, portraits. So we've summed up the cubism still life in watercolor. We're going to be moving on to the portrait. And as we are apart, I'm going to use help you use a piece of software it's online that's free and um, should work for both PC and Mac formats as well as the phone and I've tried it on the phone it works it's just a little bit um, hold on a second it's a little um, clumsy because of the space the uh, the real estate the screen real estate meaning it's it's cramped okay so what I'm gonna do here is bah, okay there we go uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to switch um, cameras here so I can show you how this works. So, um, quick mental review. This is week 910. Um, cubism history, cubism lesson. There's the, out, or the directions for it. There's a breakdown, and then here are the instructional videos um, for the step-by-step. -step. So, that still life, that study, that Cuba still life study, uh, will be due at the end of this week, which I think is the 20th. Um, and uh, that will be this marking period, the second marking period, um, the second quarter, as I repeat things over and over again, just in case. There we go. Yep, it's the 20th. So that will be due at the end of this week. Um, so we're moving on. So paint week 11 12 and it's going to open all right so here's the here's the breakdown of the week uh 16th 17th remember we're not here together on the night or the 18th and 19th 20th so uh 16th First five minutes, I just did those, I think. Uh, I'm going to do attendance. This is the video demonstration, and then you'll have studio time, so I'll explain that. All right. We're going to use a an online program called Lunapic that I'll get to in just a moment. But let me give you some examples of cubist portraits. Okay, this was done by a student, but uh, there's a Picasso, and this was done by an obscure artist named uh, Carlson. Okay. Um, now I didn't paint it, I just used this program Lunapic. And I really did just, I grabbed a picture of a model off the internet and this is what it looked like before. Oops. Okay. There's the photograph of the model beforehand. I put it in this program called Lunapic. I chose Picasso, which is not up on this list right here. Um, um, I keep getting calls from Jamestown. Uh, anyway, so, uh, and it translates this photograph over to what looks like a painting. And it has these different uh, filters. Oh yeah, it says Picasso artifact right up there, go me. All right, and I did the same thing with a photograph of myself and then I changed it over uh, here. So um, that's how we're kind of breaking this down. So today's assignment, when we get to this, after I do the demonstration, the last few minutes, what I'm going to have you do is try this out with a photo. Um, you could try it with any photo to start with, but um, we are going to be using a self-portrait, a photo of yourself. So part of the time today would be shooting a picture of yourself. You can use a picture you already have, but it should be close up. We shouldn't have a lot of extra information or what we call extraneous information in the background. It should be fairly simplified. Okay, um, We don't want you out in the middle of a field somewhere kind of like dancing around in this whole scene like this little person in this boat with this big background. We want um, the person and the just your face for the most part. All right, so uh, let's get down to the actual demonstration. All right, so here's Lunapic. I'm going to click on that, and 
like I said, you could do this. Um, oh, I wanted an image, but I don't have one on this computer. All right, let's get an image. We'll make this part of the whole demo. Okay, um, I'm just going to grab a portrait. You know what? Yeah, why not? Portrait uh, model. And I'm just going to get, oh, anybody. Now, it's best if it's in color. I should tell you that. Uh, if you start looking around at, I don't know, different photos of people, you're going to get, um, oh, um, a lot of black and whites for the most part. But we want to work with color because it's going to be a color painting. So um, here it is. Edit a photo. Upload. Okay, so Lunapic, and it gives you a ton of options. This is really quite an amazing program that's free online, and it does have pop-ups, but, you know, they have to pay the bills like anybody. All right, so uh, I hit Upload. I'm going to choose this photo that I just pulled off the Internet of this model, okay, and it gives you a lot of other options. I mean, really, the the number of options that this program gives. I just found this yesterday and I'm really, really impressed so far. Um, but you can crop it, you could scale it, rotate it. I mean, this is a lot of stuff that you would pay big bucks for as far as Photoshop. So it's, it's pretty cool. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump right in and under art right here. And feel free in the 15 minutes that I give you at the tail end of class here, uh, try all these things out. Uh, I haven't tried them. So, but for right now, what we're just working with is under art, we're going to choose Picasso, and it's going to break it down into kind of a Picasso-esque painting. And we're looking at these values, these lights to darks, right, and um, these kind of hard edge lines, and we're going to mess with it a little bit more, but uh, this is really today's part of the lesson. I just want you to see your image um, translate this way with this filter. Now, um, there are lots of other filters. Try them out. Try some weird ones. Here's dreaming. All right. Uh, but the real, that one's cool. All right. And uh, I'm going to show you how to save this, but yeah, well, let's save this one. Why not? All right. So when I'm done and I love it, okay, um, right down here, there's the save button. And let me just check something real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. Um, I'm going to click save. And depending on your, if you're a Mac or a PC, for the Mac right here, it's just saving it down in my bar. Or on a PC, it might save it to your downloads folder. But um, some way or another, it's going to save. And you could even drop it into your Google Photos, um, but it is really a, a a very cool program. Now, if you want to try some of these el some of these other ones out, just scroll through them and try different ones. But the one that I'm going to really look for is um, the the Picasso one. All right, so I'm going to try out Sketch. I mean, look at that, like instant cool drawing from that photograph I started with. That is pretty darn slick, I gotta say. All right, I'm impressed. I gotta write these people a letter. Okay, so let me go back to painting. So what what to do today? What are we trying to do? Um, let me jump back to this and me and all right. What are we trying to do? I want you to get on Lunapic. I want you to find a photo of yourself, shoot a photo of yourself. Um, I want you to upload it into Lunapic. I want you to try a bunch of those filters. Just play for a bit. But the one I want you to settle on, you can do whatever you want with the other ones, but I want a self-portrait with the Picasso filter. Apply to it and then save it. Okay. Tomorrow, we'll get into the whole idea of uh, submitting that for a grade. And, I mean, what an easy grade. You shoot a photo, you apply a filter, 
and you send it in. So that's going to be uh, a study grade. It's not a project grade, but that's what we're going to use. Tomorrow we're going to start talking about that photo and how we're going to grid it to break it down into what I think is a 9 by 12. I can't remember the size of the paper that I sent with you. Someone measure that and tell me. I think it's 9 by 12. So that's it for this demonstration. I'm going to hand you back over to uh, Mr. Carlson and he'll take it from there. So long.